Well, folks, behind me there is a representation of what we're going to be talking about in this On the Road report from Four Construction Pros. You have an 81-year-old lift bridge that's being reconditioned and repurposed, and behind is the brand new awesome bridge that's going to replace most of the vehicular traffic. And we're going to take a look at the whole picture. Along the picturesque banks of the St. Croix River that separates northern Minnesota and Wisconsin is a major project to link the two states. Dubbed the St. Croix Crossing, the new bridge is being constructed to replace an aging lift bridge that connects Stillwater, Minnesota with Holton, Wisconsin. This is interesting because we're kind of a slope towards the river and you tell me that historically there have been a number of floods. There has. <clears throat> this area of the St. Croix River floods out, tends to flood out in the spring each year and then once again later in the summer. Uh, it's due to the, the vastness of this watershed. The St. Croix right. watershed has about 8,000 square miles of northern Minnesota and northern Wisconsin where the water drains down through this area. So if there's heavy rains up in that northern part of the watershed, that brings the water down through this area and causes the water to rise in this more narrow section here and that creates the flooding issues of this area. So despite that fact, this bridge is going to stay which is a good thing because of the fact you can have a loop trail, you're still going to have the operational capacity of the bridge, but the new bridge is roughly going to be a hundred and some feet above river that's right. level. That's right, it's about 110 feet above the water, the normal water on the Minnesota side and about 115 above the normal water level on the Wisconsin side. So it gently slopes up into Wisconsin. Right. So at that height, you, all your, your paddle boats and your sailboats, right. all that will be able to sail underneath that new bridge without having to worry about lifting a portion of it up or swinging a portion of it out of the way. The new St. Croix crossing span consists of five pier supports with 116 segments to each pier for a total of 650 segments. Each constructed and transported as needed for the decking production. The beam yard itself is responsible for producing 338 cross beams which forms the decking. They are transported to the construction site nearby on a specially built flatbed. The bridge itself is a unique design as explained by project engineer Paul Cavisto. This type of bridge is called Extratost, yeah. and it's a, somewhat of a hybrid between a conventional box girder which would not have uh, external cable supports right. and a true cable stay See. bridge which the stay cables are a little bit a steeper angle. Right. Well, in an Extratos bridge the angle is a bit flatter and uh, off of each pier here there's eight uh, cables coming each way. Uh, each stay cable has 76 different strands of 6 tenths inch uh, diameter high strength uh, steel tendons uh, uh, and cables that are in there. Uh, they're not wound, or e each cable has seven wires, okay. uh, but then each, each wire uh, um, is individually inserted into the cable. It's a 10 inch uh, diameter shell and those uh, 76 strands are, are put one by one by one Ooh. into that into that 10 inch diameter casing. Um, they're installed from the bottom, uh, put up to the top of the uh, tower. There's a big anchor box in there and each one is stressed individually. When completed the bridge will hold 160 stay cables adding even more complexity is the fact the surface of the topography results in a higher surface on the Wisconsin bank than that of Minnesota. The, the bluff over on the Wisconsin side is much higher than, than the ground here on the Minnesota side and so the bridge uh, to match in yeah. is, is of such a grade. Uh, all of the foundations are relatively similar with the exception of Pier 8 is real close to bedrock but uh, piers 9 through 12 in the river are all uh, quite similar. We have about 20 feet of water and then roughly 80 feet of real soft uh, mud type soils. And then we get to bedrock and then we sock it 25 feet down into the bedrock. Into the bedrock. To support the deck construction on the Wisconsin side of the river, huge ringer cranes on barges have been engaged to assist in the heavy lift of the deck spans. Each ringer has a 425 foot beam and can be maneuvered by tugboat along the support piers where needed. Once set, the cross beams are tied together by pre-designed steel rods and a specially mixed epoxy type adhesive. The east bank of the bridge on the Wisconsin side will tie into a new four-lane, three-mile extension of Highway 64, 
which will then meet up with the existing highway. As Todd Murkowski tells us, when completed, the $630 million project will resolve a number of conflicts. It'll be transfixed by taking this bridge and converting it to a bicycle and pedestrian use only, but we will have to still accommodate boats too. Uh, there's high levels of boat traffic on this I'm riverway, sure on the St. Croix Riverway. We've got the large paddle boats further downstream that like to come upstream. Uh, we've got sailboats. We once in a while have a barge that comes through, uh, but we've got a lot of recreational boating that goes right. on in the St. Croix River that right. we need to accommodate with this historic property. And too. so that's going to be remaining and it'll still be operable? It still will be. It'll be on a set lift schedule from May 15th through October 15th each year. And the lift goes up and down to accommodate the needed boat traffic. To top it all off, the St. Croix River Crossing Project may just be unique in the fact that it has conducted ongoing tours for construction enthusiasts to the tune of $10 a head on river cruises that has totaled nearly 6,000 passengers thus far. Well folks, a mini tour, if you will, of the bluffs of Wisconsin, the St. Croix River behind me with Minnesota and Wisconsin represented, and the old lift bridge at Stillwater, Minnesota that's going to be replaced and repurposed for better uses as time goes forward. And of course the brand new bridge that we just talked about. We hope you've enjoyed our little trip up the St. Croix River to Stillwater, Minnesota and its environs here on 4 Construction Pros on the Road.